Hey everyone, we're going to keep going with uh, payments and sort of easy things in Business Central. Microsoft has clearly put an effort in to um, streamline the business process. So this one is actually about overdue invoices, like the vendor invoices that you have left to pay. Uh, how you can easily push them into the payment journal and sort of get an overview straight from the uh, Business Central dashboard. So let's take a quick look at that one. So we're here in Coffee Mike's Incorporated and um, we're just in the main screen taking a look at the tiles over here. Uh, in the beginning, I didn't pay much attention to these tiles. It looks pretty cool. Um, you can start sales code, sales order, sales invoice here. And you have how many you have out there of quote orders, invoices. But this thing payments over here is actually pretty good. If I go into outstanding invoices, and I just finished the video on the other one, which was that those payments, yeah, the tile just before it. Um, so outstanding vendor invoices. These are the invoices that you haven't paid. So idea being, uh, this, these are the invoices that I owe the vendors, all of them. And uh, I can go ahead and filter. So now that we have the filters available, I can just go in here and say filter dot dot dot. It opens up the filter pane over here. And I could say, well, if I want to filter by a certain vendor, I can just pick the vendor here uh, and say I want to buy a Fabricum. Now I can see all the invoices that I owe Fabricum. So quickly I can be navigating in here on the invoices owed. So analyzing, you know, how many I have. Now I really like this page, really do. However, if you look at this page, the due date doesn't show up. And I thought, well, that could be some Microsoft uh, issue here. They just forgot to put it in. And if I go here into uh, personalize and want to add a field right here, I can't find the due date either in the additional field. So in, the only way to actually add the due date here is to um, modify the system. So you need, you need developer. Um, experience which okay I don't like that one so <laughs> that's a little bit of a negative and hopefully Microsoft will fix that in their updates but let's just get out here there is a workaround to that though if for example I wanted to pay everything that was due um, to up until today let's say that what I can do is go in here again into the oops uh, here into the filters like so, and I can just add a filter and I can add the uh, due date right here. And let's just say dot dot today. And let me just go ahead and clear this out. And then I have everything that's due until today. So that's really cool. Now, if I want to pay this, I can go ahead, if, I, if I'm on one line, that line alone gets transferred into the payment journal. So if I go here into actions, create payment, it transfers the line into the payment journal, but it only takes one line. We definitely don't want that. We want to put in all the lines that we've selected in this nice filtering screen. So what we do then is we can go in here and say, select more. And then I get this checkbox over here. And if I check the top, I check everything. And now what I can do is go into create payment and it asks me to put in the batch name, posting date, document number for the payment journal entry and which bank account I'm paying out of and by what type. So I filled that out already. And if I just hit OK, then it takes me to the payment journal and brings in all of these payments. I mean, all of these uh, invoices to be paid. And in this case, it's batching it up by a vendor. So you can see that it's just creating one line for each vendor. And uh, so the checks are underneath. Uh, so if I go into, you see, line, uh, apply entries, I should be able to see that here we have all these invoices that are being applied to that particular payment for this. So 
there's a quick way to create a payment journal entry straight from a filtering screen where I'm kind of looking at which invoices I uh, owe the vendors. And from here, of course, I can go ahead and print checks, etc. So let me just see where that is. Um, right here, print check and then post, just like we would do in a normal payment journal. And we did do a video on that, which works exactly the same way in Business Central. So overall, do like this screen. If Even if you don't see the due date, you should, of course, see the due date. Uh, so Microsoft, please fix that. So that's back in this screen here. Um, you can still filter on the due date and get everything into a payment journal and then pay it out of there. So this could be your process of paying invoices. Obviously, if you have a really big company and lots of invoices, it might be difficult to do uh, things always like that. So you just want to stay inside the journal and use the suggest payments uh, function, which technically is the same thing. But if you are, you know, you have less invoices, you can you can use this for sure. So it's helpful. And I hope you got something out of it.